Hi everybody, we are back, Rachel, Hello. and Mimara for the September exercise, which is a side leg workout. The, the goal of exercise is the combination of core and the hip, to strengthen the hip, the hip stabilizer. The core is because an unusual position of the body lying on the side, when usually we lie on the back or on the abdominal, how to lie down the position, the, to position the body on the side without rolling on the nose or rolling on your back. And the, the, uh, regarding the hip stabilizers is um, to, uh, has importance in um, improving the functional walking gait and avoiding IT band syndrome for runners. So I'm going to lie down on the right side where the, the teraband and the white teraband will be under the rib cage. If the head is um, slightly uh, too much tipping down, we may need to support, slightly support as well between the head and the arm. We have, uh, we can use a block, a Pilates block on the, uh, to rest the hand in order to have full support for the body. We are going to be sure that the legs and the torso are in line, so maybe the shoulders are going to go forward. And we should have a little space under the ribs in order to uh, square the top side and the bottom side. Um, as I see, I'm using the teraband, so the teraband should be loose under the ribs, which will give us an indicator that we do have a little space. The body in general, we need to, to it, the feeling is lean on the head, on the arms, and on the legs, and then you also you uh, take away uh, some pressure of the hip. That um, in my teaching, uh, they, uh, a lot of time the student they uh, told me uh, they asked me how to prevent the pressure on the bottom hip. We are going to review the breathing. So we are going to first we start with the rib cage breathing. So it's in as you expand the ribs. Exhale as you close the ribs, as you keep everything everything quiet. So it's in as you expand the ribs, then exhale as you close the ribs. And then is the diaphragm and the abdominal breathing. We are going to inhale and then exhale. Remember, as I mentioned in the past, as you narrow the waistline and let the uh, abdominal and also the deeper back muscles to help you to brace yourself um, before you um, exercise. I'm going to use a foam roller as a tool to let the legs to press slightly against the foam roller, both of the legs in the same time. And the reason is because in, a, in order to uh, encourage also the gluteus medius, which is um, very close to the TFL, but um, in the TFL usually take over the gluteus medius. So in order to find in the gluteus medius, uh, medius and also a little bit the maximums, which is a uh, which is helping us to keep the legs aligned with the rest of the torso. We are going to point the toes, then we are going and we can start. So it's inhale as you raise the leg, as be sure that both of the legs press gentle against the uh, roller, and then exhale, uh, reach uh, down. So one question I have been asked is how should be the speed, how fast or how slowly, and the answer will be with a breath. So it's inhale, try to, um, elongate the, the movement of the leg as um, the inhalation is and then exhale slowly for a little bit of resisting against the gravity. Um, we are going to add the ankles exercise. So it's inhale as you point the toes on the way up and then exhale as you flex down. And it's so important because a source of energy is coming from the ankles in our walking or running or jumping, which also uh, usually we neglect. So it's inhale as you raise the left leg up and then exhale down and we repeat 10 reps. If we're doing correct, it's enough to wake up and to find uh, this, to strengthen uh, the hips muscles. As a relaxation after this, we can bend the knee and just let him down and to relax and to um, be ready for the following exercises.